Cheers, and welcome to the Tabletop Discussion on the Voluntary Virtues Network. With me today is Christy, Jesse, and Matt. And we're going to be discussing free will on this week's discussion. Uh, first off, though, this week we're drinking Woot Stout by Stone Brewery. Matt, what do you think? I think it's very good. It's actually similar to what we were drinking last week, the Doomsday Fail Anniversary Ale, if nobody caught it. Apparently I said it was a little bit low last week. <laughs> Doomsday... Doomsday Fail Anniversary Ale Doomsday by Fail Agarist Ale. Anniversary that Ale. stuff is good. By Agarist Ale. Okay. This is by Stone Brewery, though, in Escondido. It's a, it's a stout. Woot stout. It's good. It's very, very good. Very chocolatey. Yeah, it's good. 13.5 percent yeah. actually it's their 2.0 last year they did a uh they they did this for the first time uh i think it's better this week this year though what is 2.0 what is that the second oh, edition second. yeah okay. <laughs> i it's, thought you meant the percentage it's, it's actually <laughs> like, it's 13. no it's it, yeah it's 13 and a half okay, percent it's actually stronger than it was last year very cool it's good it's, it's yummy so it's stone is <clears throat> it has this brood right now Yes. Yes, you can get it at Stone and wherever they sell Stone. Um, so, uh, free will. Let's start talking about free will. It, first of all, Jesse, what do you think of free will? Do you do you think well, what I, what we I, have free will? Uh, what I think is that uh, I'm trapped behind this table without my free will. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's why you're um, there and I'm here. Um, in fact, I'm so unclear about free will that I had to cheat and look it up, but I ran out of time because you called on me to explain free will. <laughs> so, so, so let's go to Christy so, then. Christy, okay. <laughs> well, no, I was going to say, well, uh, you know, the, the, the famous Hans Hoppe thing, you're born and you come out of uh, some path ogen. And uh, you have free will because you decide what to do. You're in control of yourself. Only you lack certain knowledge to uh, uh, do certain things based on, you know, good decision making. So um, you're born with free will, but you have limitations at the time you're born, just strictly from knowledge, from a knowledge perspective. If that makes any sense. What do you think, Christy? Is that well, right? Well, I, I don't know if it's right or wrong. I really never have studied the concept of free will. I just was, grew up with the concept based on, you know, Catholic religion that, uh -huh. you know, free will is something you should have. And so I've all, it was, it's always been something that I, I believed in, that, you know, I should have, I should and everybody else should have free will. Whether That doesn't mean life is perfect. It just means you should be able to be your own ruler and destiny of, um, you know, ruler of your own destiny. So. Yeah, I grew up in a Christian environment as well, with the idea that that we were created with free will, uh, and that's that's where I've always stood. Until recently, I've heard some arguments lately that that would that would make that less likely. I guess I think I think Matt can explain it better. So the concept of free will is something that I'd say Sam Harris has done a good amount explaining why humans do not have free will. The main argument is that the laws of physics bound everything in the universe to them. So human minds and human consciousness are all bound to the laws of physics. So you're, you cannot alter those, so you must follow them. This means that you do not create the thoughts that you are thinking, they arise in your consciousness. So I, I think a good example would be if you ever practice meditation, then you, or, or even if you focus on your mind enough, you will realize that thoughts that are in your mind arise from consciousness and you do not choose to think them. Because to choose to think them, you would have to do so prior to the actual thought. So. The mind is something that, like I said, is bound by the laws of the universe, and it it must do it must follow those laws. That is the main argument for free will that I have heard that it, that there is not free will. I dis I guess I don't agree that you don't have control over the thoughts in your mind. You I have 
been in states where at nothing, like really nothingness. And so in that state of nothingness, you can pretty much create anything. So I have control over my next what, what's choice. A state of, what's a state of nothingness? Nothing. I mean, is it like unconsciousness? No. Uh, yeah, yes, no, all of it, yeah, it's nothing. It's, it, it's, it's at the point which you realize that you are in total control of every thought. It's, it's, we make everything mean something. I mean, I know you know that, Jesse. It's, it's we are meaning-making machines. And when you get to the point where you know that, you're, that you make up everything, you can really get to nothing. You can really get to the point where it's meaningless. And in that moment of meaningless, yes, you have free will to choose anything, anything. Are you, are you talking about like in a Zen Buddhist kind of nirvana kind of? No, I'm talking about state. in my own reality. Well, so, no, in in any moment, any moment of my day, you, I could hit hit my empty button and go, oh, that's right, but, I'm making it all but up. But do you believe that you must follow the laws of the universe? Is there a way for you to alter them? Can the human mind alter the laws of the yes. universe? The, no. the laws of thermodynamics, for instance. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's really even relevant to my free will. Well, if, if your body, including your mind, right. must follow the laws of physics, in order for you to basically alter okay, the path of the universe, you'd have to be able to change the let's laws. Let's go back to what is this definition of free will. Okay. So the definition of free will that I would say... Uh, the power of acting without the consent of necessity. Constraint. Sorry. Okay, Christy, so I what's constraining me from going to nothing and creating whatever I want? So the, the laws of physics, There's I would no say. Constra they, okay, what's constraining me? What is really constraining so me? So the, the neurons in your head right. are acting based on the connections that they have. And those connections were formed since birth, or probably even prior to that, of course. You, you have these these connections that are getting input and then creating an output and creating connections based on the input that they get. So they have to be following those laws. So what you think and what you have ever thought is based on input that you've got. So all the received input de uh, determines what the output's going to be. But in any given moment, I have free will to make my next moment. No, what he's saying is you always but have no, free but in will. No, he's you, saying you, you don't have, have free will. He's you, saying the you don't universe, have free will. right? He's saying you don't have free will. No, he's saying I'm you saying do have it's, free will. No, he's saying you don't. Ask him for <laughs> I'm definitely will. saying you don't have free will. See, yeah, see, I don't believe in free right. will. And I, I believe do. free will I, is I do. the have free will you because have, yeah. these neurons or whatever, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's the physical layer of it, and yeah. the next layer is your conscious. But what, it, what are you defining as conscious? What is what if the, the conscious things experience. that you decide based on whatever neuron so I, I would, stuff is going on? I mean, so you know, you pick up the phone, you drink the beer. That that's free will. So I I, I think I could relate this to uh, freedom in a way, okay. and and the freedom that we want is the freedom to make a decision based on the past input that you have. So you you want to be able to make decisions. Uh, solely based on what you believe and not through coercion and not somebody else forcing you to make a decision. So I think that is what freedom in the sense that we think of it is. The freedom to take the input that you have and make a decision based on it. You know what? Even if you're a slave, you still have free will. You do, in the moment. No, you always have free will. Because you're, at any instant you're making a so decision. In the moment, if you're, you if your no, decision, you though, always have free will. If your decision, though, is based on past experiences, which are based on past experiences, which are based on on the movement of the universe, on the on the laws of the universe, uh, cause and effect, that kind of thing, can you really say that you are choosing to act? Uh, no, 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 if, it's, it's, if, if those choices are based on, on the laws of the universe. In other words, somebody with the exact same uh, genetics and the exact same experiences, would, would somebody with the exact same experiences and the exact same genetics 
make the exact same choice that you do, or probably not. In an un- or, could, in an un- or is or is it undetermined? Uh, in an uncumbered environment, who knows? Because it's it, it's free, if free will is prevalent, it, some things well, could be random. Output. Same some things could be <clears throat> random. Some things could be. Well, I feel this well, way now. I mean, everything well, that you make a decision to do right, that's to the improve choice. your conditions right. is free will. Well, that's yeah. why I say, even if you're a slave, you still have free will because you're choosing between a calculated risk and uh, something to improve well, your and condition. You're you know, choosing like who, who you know, if be, you're a slave, okay, be, if I run be, away, yeah. what is the probability of getting caught and get, you know, experiencing some uh, discomfort rather? Um, that calculation goes into the decision making of right. not running away. Right. right? That's not all free will. Right. Not getting beaten. That's all more. free right. will, though. Sure. I you agree. also have the free will to. Is it uh, free will, though, or is it determined by by your experiences, which are determined by your experiences in genetics, which are based on uh, physical loss? So mm. if, if I were to switch atom for atom with you, and we. Uh, I had all your atoms since birth and you had all my atoms obviously we're not the same age but if we were to do that I would have to make the same decisions as you have because that I would have gotten the same input I would have had the same basic genetic I would have the same genetics as you I would have responded exactly the same way because all the forces of nature have compiled to make you and what you are now now, I, I think that the illusion of free will is definitely very strong. The, from a conscious perspective, you believe that you have free will. You, it, that's just how we perceive it, because we, we make choices, we have all these decisions. Now, it is not to say that decisions are not important at the, or that we are not deciding things, but it is that we are taking the knowledge we have and making a decision based on it, which I think is very important. I think there's two. There's more randomness to our life than you're giving our our lives. Our I think there's more randomness in the calculation. But even, even if there is randomness, then in life. then there's no equality between the two beings. Equality. <laughs> well, if it's random, it's not free will, then, right? Why not? Sure. Our but you are not choosing will. that, though. Yeah, I Christian. am. I'm allowing my whatever, my physiology to take our, I'm allowing it to, and not our, choosing something else. So so what is it that you're calling you? What Your consciousness, right? I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm zero <laughs> in this equality stuff. Are trees no. equal? Uh, sure. I, or not. Who cares? Well, because we equal, we're, you know, human beings and we're all different, and trees are all different too, even right. though they're still trees. So, so what, did, what did you... You never say people are equal. People are not equal. Did I say people are equal? Yeah. What did You're I say? All equality. You use the I word equality. Say. You can't use that word. Shame on you. <laughs> we're not, not egalitarian sure. here? <laughs> I didn't say no. I said no, 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 no. I'm going back on what it was. He was making it a statement that we're equal because we're the same molecules, right? Exactly. You're the one who said we're equal. But in the in the example, it was the example exactly. So you need to follow the conversation, Jesse. That's what the conversation was. I'm saying I don't think there could be. I think because there's a lot of randomness in our lives, and even in just the way we think, there's random in the input that comes to us. That I don't think even if everything was the same, that we would be the same, or that we would make the same choices. So, so there are actually some studies that Sam Harris uh, points out, and they've been done multiple times, where they hook people up to mind brain imaging devices, and they are able to tell which decision someone is going to make seven seconds prior to them. Really? Making it. Oh, that's yes. pretty cool. Uh, You'll have and to they look can't in. find earthquakes before they happen. <laughs> well, it, 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 what they're showing is well, that... Well, seven seconds for an earthquake wouldn't really be so, so what they're, to prepare anyway. What they're showing is that the mind on the unconscious level is actually determining what choice you're going to make, and after it's determined it, it serves it up to the conscious mind. So if you're going to say that your unconscious mind is actually you making a decision, then you're also saying you, make, you choose to make your heart beat, you choose to make yourself breathe. You choose to do a lot no, of things. No, I think you never those things are physiological. I mean, I could I could bring some spirituality into this. I really actually don't think that our brain is what is. I think we're just an antenna to another realm. So that's really what I I truly believe. 
And there, science has actually proven that there's a, there are, there is another dimension that is funneling information into us. I would definitely like some. Okay. <laughs> I should have. Yeah, yeah. I've, 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 I've never seen I, any studies. Dr. That J, like I need that. you. I need your help. <laughs> It, it says go, go to lightnews.org and, and, and you can find some information. It says here that Sam Harris believes that free will is an inherently flawed and incoherent concept, even in subjective terms. If he is right, the book will be okay. Whatever. But so, so he doesn't agree with free will? No, absolutely not. He's one of the main proponents that there is no free will. Uh, he's got some great videos I would recommend watching on the subject. So mm. are we fucked? I mean, like, book. do we just give up? No, see, I, I, I and don't that's, I mean, like, why do we even have a conversation if so we don't I, have I think I was going to try to tie it to voluntarism and why okay. free will is, uh, the concept of, uh, the, and the, the fact that we do not have free will is an important fact to understand because it, it makes you understand that we are beings that are getting input and putting out output based on prior knowledge. So it, if you, if you know that, then you, you don't need to think, oh, someone is completely screwed and they're never going to, uh, they never have any chance of understanding this. Um, okay. They can't even, we can't even have an effect on people. I think it, it's there, all, there's, it's all. I, I think it makes, I think, I think the idea of no free will has a big impact on a judicious, a judicial system that we may set up in the future. Uh, in that if there's no free will, how can you hold somebody accountable for something? Well, you, you can understand why people did do things. See, that, that is the main thing about understanding the, the perspective that there is no free will, I, see, I believe. So if you understand that we don't have free will, then you understand you're, you're making decisions based on prior events. And when you, when you understand how something works, you can more fully plan for the future and plan to act in a certain manner. I, I guess I'm not, I'm not negating the fact that you're not, we're not making decisions based on the past, but in the moment, I have free will. In every moment, it's I a, have free will. It's a huge illusion that the mind... Yeah, it, yeah. I, at this moment, illusion. I could like... I can get okay. up and go, you, you could, know? But, I could. But you, 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 What's stopping me? There's nothing stopping me. It's, it's not something that is stopping you. It is the fact that you can't make a decision prior to making a decision. So in order to, in order to think a thought, you would have to decide to think that thought. And if, if you really but, but, but pay that attention... Is, that is free will. Yeah. But, if you, but you can't do that, though. It's not possible to do that. If you, if you pay attention to how the thoughts in your head arise, you will realize that they came out of an abyss. They, they didn't, it's right, not see, something. they came, they came into they, my antenna, see? <laughs> you, you can say that, but it, right. if, so if you think that's how it right. works, I would, like I said, I'd like some evidence Okay, for it. I, I will, I'll, I will actually give it to you. But I, I, right I believe that you, you... Maybe in another podcast we'll Yeah, just, maybe we'll do that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> actually that'd be cool. So, so you'd, ha you'd have to, you'd have to really decide to do something before deciding to do something. So you can only, you can only make decisions based on the input you get. So I, I think it's very important when, you, when it comes to uh, self-efficacy and your belief that you can do something. When somebody is ruled by the state or ruled by a master, uh, is a slave, whatever you want to call them, they aren't, ta they aren't, they aren't making decisions based on uh, rational thought. They're making decisions based on uh, what what somebody has told them, or what somebody has ordered them to do. So you, you it, it it it's much better for someone to take the prior knowledge they have, use that to compute what they plan on doing, and then making a decision because that is how you can come up with new thought. You can come up with new ideas if you're just told handed down information from someone who's a so-called authority, then you are not making decisions based on the input that you get besides just do this, do that. I disagree. I disagree. Okay. Because that person still has free will, but they're making decisions based on limited information that they're handed right. down to. I agree with Jesse. I don't negate the fact that we're making information based on input that, from here, the past. Here, but we example. have free yeah. will to 
to, so where to interpolate, the, inter so where like is, whatever, whatever where, is. But what point in your mind, in the decision-making process, are you basically negating the laws of physics where you would be able to change the outcome? At what point is it? Well, so here's an example. Yesterday I was at the, this uh, uh, this rally thing, you know, with the, you know about that, right? No, this at the minimum wage thing. Yeah, minimum okay. wage. Right. Okay, the yeah. world knows. They yes, didn't comment sorry. on oh, my sorry. Facebook. <laughs> Shame on you. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, and so the minions of the, um, the, 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 the subjects of the grease ball of the, the uh, union people, bosses, yes, right. Yeah. Um, say, yeah, yeah, minimum wage, right? But they're acting in the, their own free will. Right. They're, they're ignorant. They don't know what they're talking about, <laughs> in my opinion. Right. right. But they're acting based on the, by, by, on, on the current and knowledge they that they have in their head. And they're which is, free will. Which yeah. um, is, please raise the minimum wage so I can get right. more money. And right. that's the limitation to think about at the moment based on what's in their and mind. And they think it's, they actually think it's okay to right. take money so but that, they're at, yeah. from an But those are the limitations on them, are the things that the inputs they're getting. Those are the limitations. So it's based on the knowledge that they have at that present right. moment. Yeah, and exactly, but as that, they is the, exactly as, the, that is exactly yeah. where there is no free will because you only have that knowledge. But you what if I no. came up to them and was able to have a conversation with right. them that then had them look at it a different way. Then, they then, have that, then that would have more input for them. Does that suddenly mean mind. that they have more free will? No, I think so, they had free will to when, think right. the way that they did before that, with the bad input. Right. But they, in they, they had bad that. input and now they have good input. But in, the, but in the decision, it's, in the decision it making subjective. process though, the free there, will there's has not, nothing to do with right or The free will has nothing to do with right or wrong. Absolutely not. Right. Or making it. It's not. It just means I can choose based on my. Choosing is not free will either. You, because you choosing are, is free will because that's the definition I of free agree. will. I agree. I, but you're only you can only make a decision, a choice based on the input that you have in the past, right. and you cannot change the input you have gotten. You can't. There's no at no point can you. Well, it's based on it's based on that and your computing ability based on genetics. So, so at no at no point in the decision making process would you be able to change that. You, at no point can you change the input that you've received, or can you change the output that you. I am a Wiccan, so. <laughs> I thought you could. I don't think that one. really applies to this conversation. <laughs> uh, well, maybe we're magic. It does. We're magic. Maybe it does. But I, free I, will is magic, it's Matt. All magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just magic. So. Okay. Okay. Here we right. here See, we I go. Just, I just I did that to you so you would be all discombobulated. Oh, I, ha I had it something. Didn't work. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> I think you got kind of combobulated. I, I have an interesting topic. Does neuroscience refute free will? Yes, that's what Sam Harris has. See, we should have watched this video. I guess we should have educated ourselves first. In the above from King Lear, we find a description of those who brought me in. That actually Deny free be will and personal responsibility. That's what I wanted to do. You guys like, let's just have a conversation. Blaming their wrongdoings on interpretations divine and planetary. I didn't have the input that you said you wanted to do that. So. Matt, we just expected you to do all the, <laughs> all the research. Well, I did plenty, but you could, I, yeah, didn't have plenty of time to explain. I still it. believe in free will. I still believe in the concept. Okay, it's a concept in my mind of being able to be self-determined, all right? No matter which, what input is coming right, is I get to which choose. Is what I, which is where I'd like to tie it to voluntarism. Okay, got it. good. So Thank whether you. we have free will or not, uh, which obviously is debatable, I'd, I'd like to say that you, the freedom comes from the fact that you are able to take the information that you have from the past and make a decision based on it. Now, where I'd say we don't have free will on that is that in no part of that are you able to change the past information that you've got in order to make an input or an output for the future. So it, it's, it's also very important to know yourself and to know how the mind works in order to come up with a conclusion on how to live your life well, and what actions to take. Comment. Well, what about the, the studies that were done to show that people who believe that there's no free will act more immorally. Immorally? Yes. Yeah. Immorally. They, yeah, yeah, they've done studies of showing that people don't believe in free will act more immorally. Now, I, I think the studies might have been somewhat flawed, and I'm not sure about exactly how they were run. 
But well, I, there, was, I, there was one that was that was set up where people were given a test and told uh, and, and shown a video that that explained that they had no free will and they were to take payment payment for themselves, right. which was supposed to be a certain amount, and people who were told that they did not have free will took more than that amount. Right. So. Whereas people who were told that they had free will were took were, were more likely to take huh. the are more likely to be honest about which is which is why I think answers. it's important to explain the effects of not having free will and what that would actually mean for people, which I think would. Do you mean, have to believe you don't have free will in order for this to to occur? The effects of not having free will. Well, if you believe you don't have free will, I think it's important to understand the consequences of such an idea. So, for instance, we're, I think we touched on slightly earlier, if you believe that someone does not have free will and if you were to change Adam for Adam with them, you would have made the same decisions, then you could look at somebody who's committed some you could be more horrendous empathetic. crime. It'd, it'd be more empathy. So you'd, you'd understand that if I were to get the same input as them, then I would have acted in the same manner. Maybe. But if you, if you were to have the same life experience as somebody, you were to have the exact same life, same everything, same... Same genetics. The same, the same universe would have played out how it did. If that were to happen, you would have acted in the same thing, in the same manner. Okay. I, I want to read the last paragraph of an, of an article on Mises about... Their arguments for determination are yet another attempt to abolish laws as abstract rules that apply to everyone equally. Instead, the state and its scientific experts will get to decide whether a person will be harmful to society or not in order to maximize future welfare in such cases to do so wherever this, uh, those in power will do. The law itself becomes meaningless and instead of being general rules that protect individual liberty in the hands of Green and Cohen, and in the name of neuroscience, it will be used as a tool for state interventionism in arbitrary judgments to destroy liberty. Isn't so, that what, it's, what happens now? Yeah. So, so that, so, um, to say that you need state interventionism to help you guide your way to a better life. Is that an accurate, uh, for that. You don't for have free will, you need the state. I, I definitely don't as, believe as, that. As I think well, yeah, I, I think you have the same problem whether you I have know. free will or not. Uh, because if we, whether we have free will or not, those running the state would be in the same position as we are. So you. Because mm, we're humans and yeah, we're humans and they're humans. Exactly. So if we don't have free will, then they don't have free will either. And so how can they be any better than you to make your decisions? It must be I, that... I think it's irrelevant, really. Yeah. Because I, I think, I think if, if we don't have free will and you understand that passing on good ideas is the way that society becomes a better place. Well, that's I the nature of the universe, I think, is, is the... Good ideas are passed along. Well, yeah, the, the passage of, of information. And I actually think the passage of information erases past. You say you can't change the past, but I do think you can change the past by understanding it's not a real past. It's not, it was... So it's 1984 we're talking here? It, well, it's a past <laughs> that's irrelevant. It was, you find that there's a whole new thing. It was based on... So it, speak. It was, no, it was based on bad information. So you can change the past by making it irrelevant. But that's only changing the future. You can't change the past. Under the yeah. past, the past. You can, re wait, wait, you can the real the past, the past yeah. but the perception of the past can change. And that's all oh, we sure. have. That's all we have anyways. Still pays, yeah, but that's all, we, that's all right. we have anyways. We'll drink to the present. Well, well, we, we will drink to that. And, and you know what, guys? This, this was, this was empty when I started. We will drink to an empty cup. Mine was empty to begin with. <laughs> Under the chestnut tree, I sold you and you sold me. What? What, <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, you know what? Before. We forgot to get to robot sex oh, again. No. Uh, next week. Next, <laughs> next week. week. Next week. Chestnut. Next week, robot sex. <laughs> okay.